I want to welcome you to the God Principles. And do I have a treat for you? This is going to be so unusual. <laughs> you want to stay and go through all the segments. There are four segments, and you're going to be in for a surprise. You guys introduce yourself. You are. I'm Okolo. This is my wife, Chasna. And how long have you been in the Philippines? Uh, we've been in the Philippines for about a year, for 11 months. Okay. And while you were here, did you have any special events happen? Yes, we actually had our first child. Yes. So show them the baby. Give <laughs> Bring the baby in. Having a child in the Philippines coming from the United States is, is really um, significant because younger people moving here and you hear a lot of um, stories about the medical system here and the fact that you did that is very unusual. So tell me about your life in America. How did you all get started like we covered before? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we were both in a small town in the Northeast, uh, actually in a small state, Rhode Island. Uh, and um, I had an opportunity to go and move to Texas to just play some you know, football and things like that. Uh, so I decided to go do that. And You played football? Yeah, a little bit. For who? Uh, just high school football. That's oh, high school. Crazy. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I played some football and after... I graduated, I decided, okay, let's go to college, and then looked at the expenses of college, and it just didn't make any sense. Yeah. You know, how much it costs versus how much jobs we're offering just didn't make any sense. So, mm -hmm. so heck with college, and decided to go into the corporate world. So started off just doing grunt work, you know, call center jobs, and then moved up to, uh, you know, more sophisticated territory sales and channel sales and things like that. Uh, and during that time, we were long distance for about five years. And, uh, yeah, I mean, living in America was great. I mean, at the time, I was making really good income, and I was, had a nice car and nice clothes and a nice place to live. And then when we got married a few years ago, uh, same thing. We always had a brand new luxury apartment and nice cars and all the other stuff. But the second that we decided we wanted to go on to a bigger better bigger and better life is when real adversity started to hit and we realized like you know this adversity that we're having via you know wanting to start a business or wanting to pursue that dream or wanting to you know not be so this no, um not be so what's the word i'm trying to use um dependent sure. dependent on a job okay uh tell these people what you were doing, how much your income was. Yeah, so I was I was in sales. So I was doing territory sales for a period of time. Uh, just was the territory manager for the state of Texas, selling generators and larger machinery. And she was a clerical work. Uh, yeah, so I did like payroll, like the admin okay. side of things. Yeah, so she, let's fast forward. What member you went to? Rhode Island? Yeah, yeah. We were born in Rhode Island. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you told me that your monthly yeah. net was nine thousand dollars. Yeah, we were making about nine thousand dollars a month net, not gross. So after our taxes and stuff were taken out, and even with that amount of money per month, we're still living paycheck to paycheck. Y'all yeah. need to hear that now. Yeah. Everybody wants to go to America. This couple was making nine thousand dollars net. And they were still living paycheck to paycheck. And we're not heavy spenders. Don't get me wrong. We had an ex expensive wedding like everybody else. You know, we, you know, decent, kind of had expensive things, Apple everything mm -hmm. or whatever. But for the most part, we didn't blow money. You know, we weren't that type, those type of people. Uh, it was just America, the, like living in America, there's so many small and expensive bills you don't really see or account for every month that really add up. Uh, and on top of that, you know, being young, you really want to have that Instagram lifestyle or whatever. You go on trips all the time and you, you know, have the nicest toys. stuff and a whole bunch of toys that you have. 
And in the end, what ends up happening is you are in debt and you have more month than money a lot of the times. And then also the way they pay you doesn't make a lot of sense. They pay me every other week. And yeah, we had 9,000 lump sum, but every other week it wasn't 9,000. It was okay. essentially half of that, 4,500. Um, and you have this bill to pay, that bill to pay, that bill to pay. And by the time you're done, you have maybe five, 600 bucks left. And of course you eat that or you blow mm -hmm. that or you save a little bit, but right. if it was you're just, working, you have to pay for food if you don't bring food. Right. And then on the way to work, you have to pay for tolls, which has an extra expense. So okay. Like, yeah. I'm going to tell you 